tips on how to choose dog's food. Have you just adopted a new little four-legged friend and don't know how to take care of it yet? This article might interest you. Indeed, in addition to exercises and hygiene, diet is an important element to ensure the health and shape of your dog. To help you then, discover here's some useful tips for choosing the right food for your dog. Tip number one, determine your dog's needs according to his specificities. You should know that the nutritional needs of dogs are not all the same. Indeed, a large dog will not have the same needs as a small dog. For example, for a small dog, it is recommended to multiply the meals. Indeed, the small dog has a fairly large food need while it does not have an ideal digestive system to take care of a large amount of food. So it is better to split meals and snacks. You can find all of your dog's food and snacks at pet food and accessory stores. If you are not sure which product to use, you can ask your vet or directly at the store. Tip number two, knowing how to choose the right kibble for your dog. With the variety of dog foods on the market, it can be difficult to find your way around. Indeed, there are several brands and ranges of kibble that it is difficult to choose. To be able to determine the kibble suitable for your doggy, it is important to consider its characteristics. You can find kibble on the market for a puppy, a young dog, a sterilized dog, and even a senior dog. Also, the breed of your dog is also taken into account in the choice of kibbles. However, today the croquettes are causing considerable debate. Indeed, industrial dog food has been found to cause health problems and behavioral problems in dogs. So it is better to choose good quality kibble. Tip number three, check the different nutrient intakes on the food. Dog food, dog food, homemade treats or industrial food, dog food is very diverse today. To choose the right food for your dog, you can also take a quick look at the list of nutrient intakes and product compositions. Whether on kibble or mash, you can see the carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and fats in the foods. To select the best products, prefer those that offer a high protein and low fat content. Tip number four, take into account age and activity level. If you have a puppy, he will be more active and will therefore have to eat more generic food and a greater quantity than a dog more advanced in age. Growing up, dogs rest more often and do not require the same diet. In this case, it is recommended to favor a food richer in fiber in order to facilitate digestion of the latter. In the same vein, the weight, breed, size, and condition of your animal are also factors to take into consideration when choosing its food. Tip number five, croquettes or pâtés. Dry food like kibble has several advantages, including promoting good oral hygiene due to your dog's chewing efforts in addition to being easier to digest. They are also easier to dose and keep. They are an appetizing option for your dog. This is a very wet type of food which can be useful if your dog is not drinking enough water. Pies are also easier to swallow for very old or very young dogs. You can alternate the two types of food, but give mostly kibbles to limit the appearance of dental plaque. Tip number six, check the nutrition facts. The list of ingredients on food packaging can be difficult to decode, so here are some types of ingredients to look for when choosing quality food. Meat or meat meal, chicken, fish, lamb, etc. Whole grains, fruits and vegetables, natural preservatives such as vitamin E or tocopherol. Tip number seven, limit cereals as much as possible. Cereals are an inexpensive raw material which favors their use by kibble manufacturers. However, it is an unattractive food for your dog because cereals are too rich in carbohydrates for the needs of your pet. These carbohydrates, starches, at the same time provide a lot of empty calories which will have the effect of stuffing your dog without providing him with the energy supply he needs. Tip number eight, pay attention to your pet's reactions. If your dog's stool appears abnormal or if you notice a loss of appetite or vomiting, do not take these signals lightly. Consult a veterinarian who can direct you to appropriate food solutions. Maybe it's his current food that doesn't make him. 